uh, have meetings this afternoon and walk through walkthroughs. Basically, tell them what plays and formations they're going to run on offense and, uh, and defenses and coverages on that side of the ball. Try to give them a little bit, bit of briefing. We won't run everything we've been practicing. We just want to see the speed of the game and try to get it going. We've got uh, some kicking game that we're going to do tomorrow. We got SEC officials going to be here, but we're on the 42nd clock for the first time officially the way it's going to be run. So it'll be a game situation. Hopefully, it'll probably last about an hour, 30 minutes, hour, 45 minutes. But uh, we also got to get a good look at our kicking game. Uh, I don't know who else is going to practice in terms of injuries. We'll have to wait and see tomorrow. Bosley will be. He won't practice. But he's getting better every day. He should be back at the beginning of next week. It's good to get Ryan Pugh at the center position some, because that's the way it's going to look uh, some during the, during the year. And also working Mike Berry quite a bit at the right tackle for the first team. But it's good practice today. Uh, out here a long time. Some of them out here close to three hours, but uh, we're only going once a day. We're to walk through this afternoon. Good tempo. Uh, worked a lot on the some of our goal line stuff on offense and defense. A little bit different goal line, uh, goal line defense for us in terms of what we're going to see. But uh, well, it was good work. The guys did a good job. Held in there good with the weather. And we just got to have a good scrimmage tomorrow. Question? Yeah, we we'll, we'll look forward to more of the film, but it's just, you know, I look forward to guys being able to go through the grind. It's a good grind. All the reps they get. Coach here from Mobile, what's the latest with Reggie Hunt? Hadn't heard anything. It just, you know, just a typical clearinghouse. You know, just kind of wait and see what happens. With the summer academics, they don't know if there's any academics. That's the line we need. Yeah, we have to have a grade. We'll probably get those Monday. Yeah, Zim was out today. Uh, Chaz, you know, he's up and down. He just, you know, sore back. We wouldn't, we wouldn't, go, we wouldn't practice him if we'd been ready to play early because, you know, that situation. Yeah. <laughs> Two days kind of wear you down, and so uh, hopefully we'll get back pretty soon. Coach, how are Marks and Coleman looking? Good. You know they're com competitors. And they they, uh, they enjoy practicing. Uh, at some point, you know everybody gets tired. You know both of them are good leaders for us. They're going to be good football players. I'm glad to see them out here. You know coaches can only do so much, but uh, their leadership kind of picks this group up as we go through a long practice like we had today. You know how serious Jemis is. Anybody get hurt today? They said Jemison turned his ankle. Which one? The Marcus. 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 Yeah. <coughs> Since we haven't been here, Coach, got to ask again about the QB situation. What's the latest on that? So both guys taking a lot of snaps today. Yeah, you know, we're looking. <laughs> Tomorrow we'll, you know, we'll be a tell and tell. You know, you can come out here all day and Skelly and throw around and complete. You know, I mean, you can complete a lot of passes in Skelly against no pressure, but. You know, when you get it underneath the center and you got 11 guys over knowing it's full speed, uh, it makes a difference. So it'll be a big test for the quarterbacks tomorrow. Not just the top two, but the other two. You know, we're, we're looking for number three also. Right before Jameson was hurt, he was in a fight. Hey, Chris, man. It's a fight every down out here. Usually 